Welcome back to Let's Play DDA Permadeath. The aura surrounding this place puts you at ease. Okay. So, since last time, I uh, deconstructed a whole bunch of equipment. I'm expecting to do a bit of crafting on this guy. The power of the duality pulses in the air. And I spent another action point getting the second tier of um, uh, air savant. Not exactly sure where the traps are in here. Uh, okay. Onwards. The main altar lies ahead, despoiled by evil. The stones themselves seem to sigh and moan in agony. I dropped down too hard for this one. Uh, since there are traps in here. Uh, okay, the hellhounds are behind the gratings. Saves are rather high though, so perhaps I'm better off just shocking them. You hear a click from the nearby portcullis. Yeah, that's better. I'm using this uh, stuff that I picked up a while back that I hadn't really been paying attention to until now. That boosts my electric damage a bit more, plus the extra 10 spell power from the next level of air savant. So I'm doing a lot of lightning damage with Shocking Grasp now. Shuddering and groaning, the bars of the winged serpent thane rise. Words are etched in the archway. Thane of the Winged Serpent. The altar of the Winged Serpent stands before you. You will have to destroy the light guarding it before you can purify it. As the white collapses, the protective magic surrounding the altar vanish. The shadows and corruption cloaking the altar dissipate. A sound like a soft sigh fills the chamber. Single enemies on their own, not much trouble with the uh, Shocking Grasp available. Yes, my main reason for crafting, of course, is to get a Persuasion item, uh, as I usually try and get on any character that's putting points in UMD. Okay, I think it's spike traps on the far side of the uh, thing here. All right.
Zeit besser. Words are etched in the archway, shrine of the avenging maiden. Clattering like old bones, the bars of the avenging maiden shrine rise. before you. You will have to destroy the white guarding it before you can purify it. Okay, two down. Okay, third one is where the blade traps are, which is why I'm not here on Elite. are etched in the archway, Chapel of the Conflagration. Smaller groups of enemies in general in here, so I'm not bothering to put on the plate mail. The altar of the conflagration stands before you. You will have to destroy the white guarding it before you can cure it. As the white collapses, the protective magic surrounding the altar vanishes. As the darkness hanging over the altar dissolves, ah, to the cry of fury. If you wait till the uh, enemies have all popped up, they get destroyed by the altar. main altar fight. This one is somewhat tricky. Well, potentially dangerous anyway. Hopefully I can pull them not all at once.
Hulker vanishes. All right. Purified now. That was pretty straightforward. As the shrieks of the vanquished undead fade, a small stone tablet appears atop the main altar. It beckons you. Okay, how to elite for uh, the final part here. I guess the traps mean I shouldn't be considering elite. I, uh... So there's a couple of fire traps and I don't have any way of softening the fire damage. Yeah, okay, I should stick with hard. I think other than the traps, this would be okay. Uh, even if I get in trouble with the boss, with free lay on hands, I've got a lot of uh, opportunity to uh, buy time. But I think it has to be hard. Alright, I think the plan here is you go right first if you can't trap, and left first if you can. Scratching sounds and creaking rise through the dust choked air. No trouble. Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal Olag. Second Patriarch of Stormreach. Hideous laughter drifts up out of the dark. Alright, so I'm getting the feel of playing this guy more now. Yeah, it doesn't have many tricks up his sleeve at the moment. But he has enough. Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal Hengrith, third patriarch of Stormreach. I guess the key on this guy so far seems to be to stay mobile, even though I'm using a close range attack, because it's got such a long well, relatively speaking, a long cooldown compared to a melee attack. Uh, it's better to uh, stay mobile, just back off and jump in uh, when you're ready to use the Shocking Grasp and use uh, stone echo up this passage. Use Nyx tactically, basically, when there are large groups of enemies to up the damage. And likewise the uh, Smite Evil and Eldritch Strike, which just uh, add a bit to the melee damage if, uh, if needed. Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal Yanaz, fourth patriarch of Stormreach. Not sure what I'm dropping into here, it could be the Hellhand ambush. As the third sarcophagus is warded, a rolling stone shakes the crypt. The floors of the tombs are disintegrating. It 
doesn't look like you'll be able to get up to the room above from here. It is the Hellhounds. Switch to my glaciation item. This is going Get smoothly. As you round the bend, you hear a raspy muttering in the clank of armor. All right, lots of enemies through here. Something terrible stirs ahead near the sarcophagus of Cardinal Bravonus. First time that we are in storm range. As the white ball, the spell surrounding Bravonus's sarcophagus dissipates, it can now be warded. All right, so they don't stand much chance. All right, may as well shrine here. I don't really need to, but why not? way all right got my fire is this on and run 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 faint unearthly chimes seem to ring from up this passage beckoning you to safety well I got away cleanly the altar may have escaped entirely ahead of you sucker is at hand <laughs> Still no breakables bonus. There we go. That's it for this video. See you next time.